Hi there, all you camp goers. Welcome to the best of sellers. The high fives high, lights down low. Here we go with the Beatles show. I, but I think we can fairly say this is where it all started. This is St. Peter's Church in the Woolton district of Liverpool, which is quite a way out of Liverpool. It's a very nice district of Liverpool. I mean, all districts are nice, but this is even nicer. This is where Paul McCartney actually met John Lennon on the afternoon, that July afternoon, at the crowning of the Rose Queen. It, it's a fate they had organised to raise money for the church. At the back of the church here, there's a big field where they had a wagon where John Lennon was playing on the back with his band, The Quarrymen. Paul went up to him and he said, he said, hello, John. He said, I've been told by a few guys at school that you're looking for more serious musicians to play with you. He said, yes. He says, well, I play the guitar, I play the piano. Maybe we can do something. John says, of course. Uh, why don't you meet me tonight? We're playing over the road tonight in the church hall. He says, why don't you come over and we'll talk about it. In the afternoon, John played with his band and Paul stayed and they had, you know, obviously Paul had a look around the fate and then he went home. In the evening he went back over to see John and after John had finished playing his set in the church hall, Paul said to him, okay John, he said, yeah, come on, let's have a, let's have a listen.
We're now actually in St. Peter's Hall, Church Hall, which is the hall that John played in after the garden fete over the road in the church in the evening of the July 1957. That there is the stage they actually played on. This is still the original stage. As you can see, the place is now being renovated. The paint on the walls, is described as Lakeland Green, is the original paint that was here in 1957. The only difference is when the guys came in, they would actually came coming through that door there, they would have come through that door, this place would have been packed full of people. There was a jazz band on stage playing with them, and they'd have probably played one, maybe two sets. But this is where Paul came after the show to meet John again after the meeting in the afternoon, and he played where he played to him, we don't know, but he played the very famous 20 flight rock for him, which he was impressed because every, Paul knew all the words. So this is quite historic in the sense that it is still virtually as it was in 1957. <laughs> Griffith signed one of the quarrymen. 
and uh, the rest of the choir men back there. <laughs> what do you think about the Beatles legend and the choir men legend? I think it's great the Beatles legend because we're old guys and we're having great fun going to different places <laughs> and enjoying life, getting lots of beers and uh, we always say anything about anything else. <laughs> sick of listening just listening to bands playing Beatles music so we thought let's you know do a little bit more let's tell them the story how it happened how George met Paul how Paul met John how they got Stuart Sutcliffe in the band how Pete Best came to be in the band how they went to Germany basically the story from right back to in from July 1957 when Paul actually met John Lennon but there's still little things they don't know we tell them like the famous thing when John Lennon when they played at the Royal Command Variety performance and John Lennon said, everybody in the cheap seats, clap your hands, the rest of you rattle your jewellery. A lot of people don't know these things, so we try and do a little bit more. When we do the Sgt. Pepper, we tell a little story how they were falling out in the studio and different things. Don't get the Coke, John. Can't do without the Coke. The, the, my favourite crowd in the world are... It's hard to say. I mean, say if, 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 you, if you're going down well and the people are loving you, that's your favourite crowd. But we find in Scandinavia that uh, everyone seems to take us into their hearts. They realise that we're not trying to look like the Beatles, as you can see. Uh, but we go for the sound and we seem to reproduce the sound very well. And we have a lot of fun with it. And that's what the Scandinavian, English, German people love about it. And it works very well. I get up here five minutes early every night. Get a new watch. Well, I do it. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it every I night. It. I'm five minutes early every night because I forget. Well, I'm not. I'm just in time. And then through Hob Row. Is it Hob Row? Early this year and shout out to Snag Langsum for Haven. No, what he shouted while he was. <laughs> Snag Angus <Snack> for Haven. Snag Angus for Haven. Don't start it. I think we can say it started there in Church Road in the Wilton district. Liverpool 25, the at St. Peter's Church on a Saturday afternoon. It's a song called I Feel Fine.
Beatles actually started in 1980 playing Beatles music, but we've always played Beatles, Beatles music right back from 19, 1967, 68. We played in a band called Jasmine T, and we always played Beatles music, and then we'd revert to something else, say a Rolling Stones song or a King song, and people would come back, can you play some more Beatles? So basically, we played nearly all Beatles. I personally have never played with, uh, with the Beatles or any former member even with like Paul McCartney and Wings, but I've seen them all play over the years, but never, I'm, uh, ne never played with them, no. Yes, I played with the Beatles two or three times on the same stage at the Southport Kingsway on a Monday evening. One of the nights, actually Ringo played because Pete Best, the drummer, was ill. That was long before he was in the band. That was in 1961. And um, then the Pete Best came back the next week. They played about, I think, five or six times at the Kingsway Club on a, sun sorry, on a Monday evening and there was no alcohol or anything. They got paid six pounds, which is not a lot of money, and the band I was in got three pounds. So the Beatles have slogged it as well, you know. But they were great guys. You could borrow anything they had, any equipment they had, you could borrow it, you know. Our bass player used to, used to use Paul's bass setup regular. To be here to ride, won't you take a look? It's based on a novel by a man named Lee, and I need a job, so I want to be a paperback writer. Paperback writer! It's a dirty story of a dirty man, and his blinking wife doesn't understand. The son is working for the daily mail, it's a steady job, but he wants to be a paperback writer. Paperback writer, paperback writer, paperback writer. Just a thousand pages, give or take a few. I'll be writing more in a week or two. I can make it longer if you like the style. I can change it round, and I want to be a paperback writer. If you really like it, you can have the right. You can make a million for you overnight. If you must return it, you can send it here. But I need a break, and I want to be a paperback writer. Paperback writer. Paperback writer.
in the song. In Penny Lane there is a barber showing photographs. On the corner is a banker with a motor car. Behind the shelter in the middle of the roundabout. They are all lines, as you know, from the song Penny Lane. The barber is up there. There is one, two, three banks on the corner. And there is the shelter in the middle of the roundabout, which is now actually a restaurant. But the ironic thing is, none of them are in Penny Lane. Penny Lane is just there to my left. These shops here are actually in Smithdown Place, but they call it Poetic License, and it's a great song anyway. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs Of every head he's had the pleasure to know And all the people that come and go Stop and say hello portrait of the queen he likes to keep his fire engine clean it's a clean machine She feels as if she's in a play She is anyway Penny Lane, the barber shaved another customer We see the banker sitting waiting for a trim And then the fireman rushes in From the pouring rain It's very strange Penny Lane is in my ears And in my eyes Here we are in Liverpool's Penny Lane, as you can see, the sign is actually painted on the wall. The reason being, they used to keep stealing the metal signs, and the Liverpool City Council got fed up of actually with custom fortunes replacing them, so they just paint them on the wall now, which is much easier, and it, it does the trick, as you can see, people have written things on it, you know, graffiti, but it does the job. I'm just expecting to come home one day to, to Liverpool and find out somebody's stolen the wall. Nothing is 
was real Nothing to get hung about Strawberry fields forever No one I think is in my dream I mean it must be high or low That is, you know, you can't tune I'm going to Strawberry Fields Nothing is real But nothing to get hung about Strawberry Fields forever No, always, sometimes think it's me But you know a dream I think I know will be the yes but it's all wrong that is I think I disagree let me take you down cause I'm going to strawberry fields nothing is real Just behind me here is the actual house John Lennon lived in with his aunt Mimi and was brought up in from about the age of four. We're in Menlo Avenue now in Liverpool. Just behind the house is actually Strawberry Fields where John used to look out of his bedroom window at the back of the house into the fields of the home and see the children playing and that's where he was inspired for the song Strawberry Fields Forever. Hey, hey. And a good crowd. Yeah. That's, that's a good crowd, yeah. yeah. Good crowd. Yeah, pretty good crowd. Oh. This is uh, the time where I just blow my nose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool, it's my great. hometown. It's a great place. It's absolutely fantastic, honest. You wouldn't believe this place. It's grace. It's grace. How many ways can you say grace? You can say grace. And the audience. The audience are fabulous, fabulous, yeah. Audience, it's like a, it's like being in court with a jury. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the verdict? The verdict is Ow. guilty. <laughs> I'll definitely look like Paul McCartney this time. <laughs> <laughs> what would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out of me? Let me your ears and I'll sing you a song. Try not to sing out of key Oh, I get by with little help from my friends
No, we never get quite tired of Beatles songs, you know. Um, it's, I don't know there's that many to choose from, and I, really, we, we play a lot of the same ones all the time, the popular ones, but no, I, I, none of us get fed up. I, I, we just love it, you know. I like all the songs. You want me to sing a loud one? I'll bend your microphone if I sing a loud one. <laughs> Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Why? Such an easy game to play And now I need a place to hide away The crowds that we're playing to is uh, not, not just the Danish crowd, the, the, the Scandinavian people in general were getting a fabulous response from, uh, from all the Scandinavian countries, and particularly Denmark. They, they seem to have taken us to heart. They, they love us for some reason, and uh, we, we love them. It's, it's fantastic. Thanks very much, Guy, for a great show. I just did the musical in there, and I ran in there, and I even had a ticket. Unfortunately, I got it free, but nevertheless, my enthusiasm were the best, and I really enjoyed sitting in the back. Great lightning. Great music, you played it great, and it felt like you had the audience right here in the middle of your hand, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Thanks very much. First of all, before I talk about the Beatles, I should say that the Beatles were one of my favorite bands of all time, so I love the Beatles' music. Um, the Beatles do it very, very well, um, and Alan, particularly from the band, has been very kind to me um, at different stages in my career.
As I keep saying, we don't actually try and look like them because we can't. We're, we're, we're too old, and you know I've not got the hairstyle, and I could put a wig on. People say to us, when we sing them, they sound exactly the same, and maybe it's because of the accent. For example, in Penny Lane, where he says, "In Penny Lane, the barber shaved another customer." Most people would say customer, but in Liverpool we say customer, and maybe that has got something to do with the sound being the same. Hey. Don't make it bad Take a sad song And make it better Remember To let her into your heart Then you can start To make it better Hey you Don't be afraid you were made to go out and get her. The minute you let her under your skin, then you begin to make it better. Any time you feel the pain, made you refrain.
Well, we keep saying to each other when over the years we've you're asking how, how long we're going to be together. When we was 30 years old, we said to each other, "Do you think we'll be doing this when we're 40?" When we was 40 years old, we said to each other, "Do you think we'll be doing this when we're 50?" Now we're 50 years old, and we say to each other, "Do you think we'll be doing this when we're 60?" Let's see. Oh!